In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to customize this profile drop-down menu. So that means the ability to reorder these menu items, to add new items into it, to remove items from it, and to add icons into here. This is a level of customization that people have been asking us for for a really long time. We get tons of requests for this. We know you guys really want this. And now it's here. To customize this, we're going to go into the dashboard and head into Appearance Menus. And from here, you'll see a menu area called Profile Dropdown. And this is the menu that's going to be used to customize this. Now, those of you who've been using BuddyBoss theme all along, this Profile Dropdown menu has always been there. And what it's done in the past is allowed you to add additional menu items that were kind of inserted at the bottom of this menu. Now we've changed this so that this menu area is actually registered both in platform and in theme. So even if you're not running your theme, you'll still see this. And it now controls both this dropdown and the admin bar dropdown. And instead of just appending new items into the menu dropdown, it actually completely overrides the dropdown. So if I go into here and click to create a new menu, I'm going to call it profile dropdown. And I will sign it to this profile dropdown area. I'll click create menu. And now if I go into Buddy Boss, this is the area that houses all of the logged in links that come with Buddy Boss platform. So basically links relative to the logged in user. And you'll notice after updating Buddy Boss platform that this has been reorganized to show not only the main links, but also all the sub links that basically the flyout links are all in here now. So let's say I want this menu to have profile, view, edit, profile photo, cover photo, and I want to have notifications on red and red, and I'll add the messages ones in here, and I'll click add to menu. So they're all added, and we will have to do a little bit of work to indent these. It's just how WordPress works. And I'll click save menu. And now let's come back here and refresh. And we'll notice a couple of things. So one is this dropdown has been taken over by these menus and the flyouts. And what was there previously is gone. And if I go into here, this has also been taken over. So that's why this menu is registered in platform. Even if you're not using our theme, you can still customize this. And if you are using our theme, everything is in sync. And if we unregister this from the profile dropdown area, then everything returns back to normal. So I'm going to turn it back on and show you a little bit more. One thing to note is that if you were already using this profile dropdown menu in our theme, then this is going to break things slightly on update because like I said, in the past, what this used to do is append menus to the bottom of this menu area and now it's completely taking over it. So if you were using it before, what you're going to find is that the couple menus you had added are the only ones here. So you'll need to go in and just add whichever other menus you want. That'll take you a minute or two and then it'll be working. At all times, we try to make sure that when we push an update, it's not going to break anything. This is just one of those scenarios where there's no way around it because it's data. So moving on here, you'll notice that there are icons in here, which you may or may not want. So coming back here, the logic we've used is that for each sort of tier, if there's one icon, then they all get an icon. If there's no icons, then they all go away. So just to show you what I mean, if I go in here and remove messages and remove notifications icons and save and come back. You'll see that it's forcing some kind of icon in here. It goes to the default the same way we do it in here, because this is going to look really weird if some have icons and some don't and it's things are moved around. So, but if I go ahead and remove the profile one and save and then refresh, then there's no icons at all. So it's kind of all or none for icons, both in the main dropdown and in the flyouts. So let's say for notifications, I wanted the flyouts to have icons only. I can do that too. So I could go to unread and click select. I'm going to go here and search for I. Let's say I pick that for unread and for red, I'll select that one. 
and save this menu. Come back and refresh. And now for notifications, we have these icons added. And of course you could add any other menu in here as well. Let's go into pages. And if you saw our previous video about the Elementor dashboard, we've introduced this dashboard that users can go into when they first log in. So let's go ahead and add that into the dropdown. So now I've got Elementor dashboard. Let's say I want that first. I'll save that. And then let's come back here and refresh. And now we've got our Elementor dashboard in here. So I could click that. And that's gonna take me to my user dashboard. So as you can see, this is very powerful. You can basically do whatever you want with this menu now. We know that people really want this feature. They're constantly asking us for it. And I'm sure a lot of you will make use of this right away.